How's it going guys and welcome to our live stream, our knife live stream, our knife banner live. I don't know what we're calling this. We're just live. We're just live. Here's the thing guys, we had a knife banner planned for today because we always make sure you guys get an awesome knife banner every Friday. And uh, you know, with everything going on in the world, we just figured, let's just hang out and just talk knives instead. Like, it just felt like there's some stuff going on all over and why not just give you guys an hour, give us an hour? Because honestly, it'll be nice just to sit here and talk knives for an hour and not worry about other things. This is a break <laughs> for me right now. <laughs> so we figure if we needed that, you guys could use it too. So let's get together. Let's just chat knives. That's what we're doing. So we're just talking some of our favorite knives, some new knives. If you guys are here live, let us know in the live chat what you guys wanna talk about and uh, we're gonna pull them live. Give us some stories, give us the reason why it's your favorite, tell us what your, what your EDCs are, the whole thing. And we are running a skeleton crew. Um, so Blade HQ is actually shipping 100%. We're getting all your guys' orders out, everything's good here. Um, but for those who can work remote, like certain people in marketing department, we are running a skeleton crew. So I'm gonna be in the chat with you guys. So you won't be seeing a lot of uh, typed responses, but I will be paying attention to the live chat in case you guys need anything or want anything or whatever. And then we've got a little elf running around grabbing knives. Me? No, not you. Oh, because yeah, I'm, got... I'm a big elf. He's a big elf. We got somebody else turning around. All right, so let's kick this thing off. So we, uh, I recently just bought a couple knives, actually. So last night, I was feeling a little impulsive, and I bought two new knives. So. That's awesome. Yeah, so. I love those days. First up, I got myself a Launch 11. That thing is sweet. And I am so stoked on it. Uh, let us know what new knives you guys have been picking up. Uh, but yeah, so all made in the USA, CPM one, or 154C, I always forget which one it is. CPM 154, there we go, I was right the first time. Yeah. Shouldn't second guess myself. Um, but yeah, I just this like acid stonewash blade, this brass collar, the lines on this thing, like we saw this thing at SHOT Show and I have been drooling on this knife since SHOT Show. So finally they were available and we still have some on the website. Finally they were available and I picked myself up one. Mm. I got to be honest, that mm. is probably, in my opinion, the best looking launch they've ever made. This is hands down my favorite launch they've ever made. Yeah. For sure. It's Cause a, it's, it's got, winner. it's got the main USA. It has the amazing warranty. <clears throat> it's got the, um, awesome Kershaw action. Cause it doesn't matter which launch you go with. You're going right. to get the launch one to the launch four. It doesn't matter. Right. They all have awesome action, but this thing is so beautiful. It's just the perfect size. It's a great size. Oh, anyway. So. This was an impulse buy I purchased last night. Really excited so about it. So proud of you. <laughs> and my second one, so we um, we did some Instagram live stuff yesterday actually, where we had you guys ask questions, we pulled knives, it was a ton of fun. And uh, somebody asked about the purple Kiranite case knives. Um, case knife has, uh, this year they do, they have like a purple Kiranite pattern going. And I've been wanting one and I pulled one yesterday and then I bought one yesterday too. <laughs> So the one I pulled yesterday was a kickstart. I have one of the one of the case kickstarts, so I didn't want to get a second one. Um, I don't have any like really big traditional knives. Okay. Um, so I decided to go with this. Uh, I think it's this is a trapper. It's a jack blade tracker trapper. Um, and yeah, so you know, two two useful handy blades. I don't buy pocket jewelry like ever. Like when I impulse buy something, it's usually like the Schrade slingshot knife. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Or like that I, is true. I'm yeah. not kidding. He <laughs> yeah. has a handful of knives that are like, why? Yeah, yeah. There's there's a couple of hidden gems on the website that are that are definite. I mean, let's just call them what they are. They're gas station knives. Let's be honest. Totally, they're gas, gas station, station knives. But there's this piece of me that just loves that, and so I will impulse buy like 12 year old Zach knives sometimes. But I don't buy pocket jewelry barely ever. And this is a useful knife. Case knives, you can use them, you can abuse them. Not my normal user, but man. This purple Kira Knight. It's, it's cool. so good, the, man. The it's purple so is good. really cool. And so yeah. If you guys could see it firsthand, it's like clear and silky mm -hmm. and wavy in there. It's really cool. It's a beautiful knife. So, anyways, so uh those are two that I've impulse bought literally yesterday. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I was pretty excited about that. Some some new arrivals that are pretty exciting. Um, what have you bought lately? You bought anything lately? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be looking over at chat, but I am listening. No, you're Just good. so you guys know, I am listening, but I, like I said, I wanna make sure I'm in chat as well. Let's see, <laughs> knives that are new to me lately. My uh, white mini bug out, that's new. Ooh, yeah. It's now, you have, now you have some bug out philosophies about the white mini bug out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so what's so, the story on that? So I pulled an orange one too, just because we have those in stock right now on right. the site. Um, I like the mini bug out. Do not get me wrong, it is a great one. I've 
to EDC this thing for two weeks straight, yeah. if, if not longer. But the good old hams prefer <laughs> the full size bug out. Um, the mini bug out is really, really good. And it's right on that, that edge of if I don't want to go any smaller than this. Right on that edge of perfection. Edge of perfection. <laughs> <laughs> That's Benchmade's like one of their like sayings that they have. Troy's like <laughs> shaking his head. Troy's, Troy's over at Benchmade like, guys, come on, really? <laughs> <laughs> but I really like the mini bug out and it fits well on my hand and it, I love it in my pocket. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, all the things, right? But if I'm gonna have a, an ultralight knife mm -hmm. for my EDC, I would prefer a three inch blade just for the fact that it fills my hand and I get more right. knife for almost the same weight. Now we talked about this a little bit yesterday on Instagram too. Yeah. Um, and one thing I wanna do is, I wanna get you guys like just a really good size comparison. Cause I will say, I knew that the mini bug out was coming at SHOT. Like we, we, had, we had heard some rumors. So yeah. I guess I didn't know, but we were pretty sure we were gonna see it at SHOT Show. And I was surprised that, that it wasn't smaller. Like to me, this feels right. like a medium bug out, yeah. right? Like more than a mini bug out. Um, so yeah, so I mean with that size comparison there, and that's what you were saying is, is you like them both, but the, the main bug out kind of ekes out. The, right. the, the OG bug out ekes yep. out just a little bit above it. Yep. Yeah. For me, that's, that's definitely the case. But they're both super awesome. You guys know I love these. They are sweet. But yeah, it's just a little, I, I prefer the big one. Yeah, yeah. It, well, just, and we wouldn't just buy a little bit. And Kurt wouldn't be talking about some of his favorite knives without talking about the bug out. Right. Let's be honest. <laughs> right. And, and I'm sure there's a bunch of people that are like, come on, the bug out again. I'm like, dude, it's my favorite knife. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're like conscious of this, guys, that the bug out makes it on a lot of stuff, especially when we do pocket dumps and stuff. But the thing is, is like everybody's got one. It like everybody loves that knife. That one, favorite. and then I, it's not the same in locking mechanism or weight or anything, but just in like how prolific it is. Right. You have the bug out, which is kind of, you know, a little bit more of an expensive knife for a lot of people. And then you have the Elementum, which is a little bit more of a approachable knife for a lot of people. And that's VV Elementum is another one. You guys are gonna see the Elementum a ton because for 50 bucks, I don't think you can do better for 50 bucks. Like those Elementums are, they are just so good. So, so good. Ooh, I have one right here. Ooh, got an Elementum. This one is the Brass. Ooh. But I gave my, I had a brass one and I gave it away. And it was good that I gave it away because we gave it away to a really awesome dude down in Ventura, California, but I definitely miss it. <laughs> so I like the Elementum. I, I'm i not super crazy about the brass one. I think it looks hmm. great. It looks great. Yeah, yeah. But after I got this one and put it in my pocket for a while, yeah. it's just a little too heavy. Oh, see, I wish I, I would have had the G10. I like the weight. Because really? I, I have the G10 and I had, well, I had the G10. I just gave it to somebody else. But, right. Man, I gave away a lot of knives recently, but. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, hook me up. Right? <laughs> so the, the, I have the G10, I have the brass. I actually really like the weight of the brass. So that's interesting. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, interesting. You wear, you wear I, shorts more than I do though. I wear shorts. I only wear jeans. I'm a jeans know, exclusive type of, I I'm, go swimming. I wear a pair of jeans. You know what I like mean? If like if I could, I'd just walk around barefoot all the time. Probably not. <laughs> that's gross. I don't know. Don't judge. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, the Elementum, the bug out. What else would I put? The pair of three. Oh, I know what else I'd put up with it. The R2-D2? The R2-D2. Kurt loves him some rat two oh, knife. Oh my goodness. Another incredible EDC knife for like, I'm not even, and this is under 50 bucks, right? Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like people say that they love the R2-D2. It's the rat model two, Ontario Knife Co rat model two. But I'm telling you, if I did not know about the bug out or a handful of these other knives mm -hmm. that I've owned, mm -hmm. dude, under 50 bucks, you get this and no joke, it's an amazing knife. Yeah. So smooth. I, I really love it. It's a good one. All it needs is a deep carry deep pocket, pocket clip. clip. Yeah, exactly. But that D2 blade, uh, when it comes to right. a budget steel, D2 is my absolute go-to for budget steel. So I've been using this on the uh, the little dirt bike restoration. Oh yeah, thing. yeah. Kurt's been Kurt's been uh, fixing up a little motorcycle. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've kind of we've taken a little hiatus from working on it yeah. just with life and the world getting crazy and stuff <laughs> yeah, like for that. Sure. But uh, yeah, man, I 
beat this thing to death and it is it's a beast man like i should we try to paper test it? It's not gonna work. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Life. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> flex, just flexing. Nice. No big deal. <laughs> All right, um, we have a couple shout outs here. Um, uh, Hunter Garnett says, say hi to Kurt. It's his first time uh, for on a live stream. So Hunter, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have a lot of people that are like, like talking about like, oh, I don't have work today. I don't have school today. I don't. <laughs> Yeah, it's a thing right now. You know I have I mean? worked so, today, kind of. Kind of, We're yeah. just chilling. So. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. We definitely appreciate yeah. it. Uh, hopefully this will give you guys a little bit of a, a respite from some of the stuff going on right now. Um, yeah, somebody wants to see a James Brand chapter Damascus. Garrett Smith is going off on that. Garrett, I can't pull him right now, buddy, but hopefully somebody's seeing your messages and is going to pull him. <laughs> do they make the chapter in a Damascus? Uh, oh, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. We should have some. The chapter yeah, is a have sweet one. knife. Yeah, um, yeah. just a lot of people being like, yeah, I don't have work today. Or some people even saying like, I'm sneaking this watching at work. So yes. shout out to all you guys. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. All right, so uh, man, I don't know which way I wanna go. I don't know if I wanna show you guys some new stuff I'm stoked on or some stuff that I've been excited about in 2020. I'm gonna go with something I'm excited about in 2020 because it's a little abnormal for me. Okay. Okay, so uh, we went and visited Cold Steel recently. Yeah, um, and we have a Cold Steel video coming out where we test knives with them and uh, Lynn Thompson teaches us how to like cut to Tommy Mads and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. That's it's, cool. it's a pretty cool video. So while we were there, we picked up, me and Jamie both picked up uh, some 4Max Scouts. And I freaking love this knife, man. It is a, thing is a beast. It's a beast and I love it. I was actually out, uh, it was my little sister's birthday party. And we where, where were we? Where? I think we were at Tecano's or something. Yeah. And she got something and she needed to open it, right? And I and I not thinking about it, I just pulled out the knife I had, and it was this knife. I pulled it out, and oh. the server just looked at me like, "Ah, uh, what's this guy doing?" <laughs> uh, sir, you don't work here. You're yeah. not allowed to carry pocket swords. Exactly. So this is this is a it's I think it's an Oz 10A blade, um, just kind of a lightweight construction. Um, as you guys know, they make the Four Max uh, in kind of a more premium version, mm -hmm. but this is a much more affordable version um, with being the Four Max Scout. So. Uh, really cool knife. This thing is just, I mean, you, you can see like, I've used the crap out of this thing. Yeah. And it just keeps coming back for more. I mean, it's cold steel. You're not gonna break it, right? Like it's, right. It, this is a forever knife. Um, and it, and can it's, I see it? yeah, and it's just funny because you compare that to like what I normally carry. Here, can we just put these? Yeah, oh, go ahead, no, yeah, go ahead, yeah, open no, it, go you, ahead, open you, it, open you it. Do your thing. Yeah, open it. <laughs> it's a little bit different from what I normally carry. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a little bit different. <laughs> I like how I like how the hams wrap right on. Oh yeah, that. that's a perfect. If you have big hands, this knife actually would probably feel like pretty good. And and the crazy thing is, this is something that Cold Steel does incredibly, is it fits in your pocket really well. Now don't it's, get me wrong, it is strange how it actually yeah. works out. Don't get me wrong, it takes up your entire pocket. Like you're you're not gonna get a phone in your pocket with this thing in your front pocket, but it does fit in your pocket really well and it doesn't get in the road. Like you really do just carry it, no big deal. Now, if you're like Jamie and in the summertime you just wear athletic shorts all the time, this isn't gonna work for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, unless you want your shorts on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But which... Jamie's been carrying the 4Max Scout. Jamie, you carried it for a while. What do you think? He's off camera, guys, just right over here. It's large. Large. <laughs> large. <laughs> you gotta remember, Jamie has a bug out all day, every day. So the fact that he was even willing to try this is a, big, is a big deal. <laughs> I agree. What's the, what's some new stuff that you've been stoked on? Okay, so I have a knife that I'm absolutely stoked on. I, I'm i gonna talk about that one next. Okay. This is one that I have a question about. And I pulled this knife off the shelf this morning. Yeah. It's the new Mora, uh, what's it called? The Gerberg. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the thick one. Yeah. The thick. Carbon steel. I think this is the only one that they have uh, in a black blade. Oh, interesting. I, I honestly, off the top of my head, I don't know enough about Mora to say wh which ones they have coated and not coated. But normally, you do see the classic Mora is right. more right with the with the uh, not right. coated blade. So this is my personal Mora. I think I paid twelve dollars or so for this. This one is $90 and I'm sitting there on, I, when I was seeing it on the website, I was mm -hmm. like, why is that 90 bucks? <laughs> why is there a Mora like, for you $90? Right, yeah, 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 I get so, what you're saying. 
I, I actually pulled this out of my collection and I pulled this one off the shelf and I was like, I gotta see, I gotta figure out the difference. But uh, this thing is pretty substantial actually. And though I probably wouldn't buy one just mm -hmm. because I have an, a bunch of other bush crafting knives and I've got a $12 more right here. Yeah. This thing is actually really stout. The, let's see. Stock let's comparisons. See if, let's see if Carson can get the uh, stock on that. This upgraded, I think they, they're calling it an upgraded Mora. Basically it's like, well, it's, it's, it's like the decked out yeah, it's, Mora. It's the Mora on steroids, right? right. It's been Absolutely. cycling trend, going to the gym, doing the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Had a, had a cleanse before it started. <laughs> right, it, it juice cleansed. Juice yeah, cleansed. no, it's, it's good to go. But this thing is actually really sweet. There is significant weight to this compared to your regular Mora knife. This thing fits in my hand really well. I hate to say it, but for the price, I don't love it, but mm. for the knife, right. I could really get into this. It's actually. a lot of knife. And, and when you think about 90 bucks, like Mora's a trusted name, right? It's got a true Scandi on it, right? right? Which you don't... Honestly, there's a lot of secondary bevel stuff going on. So like to get a true Scandi is really nice. It's got the same, or it's got a very similar sheath that the knife goes into, right. but the attachment point is a lot nicer, right? So you get this riveted piece of really nice leather. So that is a little bit nicer. I'd probably still make my own sheath. Right. Um, but overall, pretty cool knife. So it just kind of caught your eye because you were like, what's it, up with a $90 yeah, Mora? Yeah, I was like, $90 Mora, what the heck? But these sheaths are actually super cool too. They have other systems that you can attach to this. So you can carry it, you can strap it to a mole system, like you can do all the things. It's cool because it's got a full tang, you get a little bit of that. I would use that as a hammer. That's that's definitely the intention with that for sure. Um, but yeah, it's you you get what you pay for. Huh. And so but I think either way is yeah. a great option. I mean we say it all the time. I love the Mora because it breaks all the rules of a knife snob. Right? right. Even a knife snob can be like, nah, I mean, I can't deny more is a good knife. You know what I mean? And it for, for a $12 knife, like you're not going to get some, a lot of knife snobs saying <laughs> that more, that a $12 knife is a good knife. I need knife. your, your feels. Oh opinion. yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. I've handled this one before and it's exactly it. Right? right. And then you also get this nice squared up, um, spine here. So you have right. a, a good striking surface, the same you get with, with your regular Morris. But yeah, I mean, overall this feels like it's cool. Yeah. A serious it's knife. way cool. So. Cool yeah. stuff. Uh, we had uh, Luis E. Martinez ask, and a lot of you guys have been asking, where is the purple Kalashnikov? Oh my gosh. Let me tell you guys the odyssey that is the purple Kalashnikov. So we're looking to get a purple bladed Kalashnikov last year. And normally when we, when we go to get a Kalashnikov, an exclusive made, it's a real quick turnaround. turnaround. Um, but then like some things kind of were, were different with some other orders that we had going. So some things changed up a little bit. And then January hit and things slowed down a little bit in China for you know other reasons. And now it's things have slowed down a little bit in the world. So guys, to be honest, I don't know when we're gonna see the purple Kalashnikov at this point. But I promise I, I promise you that we will order enough. We will get so many purple bladed Kalashnikovs, they're gonna be coming out our ears, and Mace Windu will be proud. I'm, ex <laughs> I'm excited. I honestly all everything that's going on right now, it's it's just a little bit of a setback. Yeah, all the all the things that we have in the works are still gonna happen. Yeah, exactly, you exactly. Know? It just so that purple Kalashnikov definitely needs to happen. So we have some knives from you guys. I didn't say thank you to our elf that ran it, but we our elf brought it by. Oof, I can't close that, guys, she, or I'll lose the light. She was sneaky. Here we go. All right, we have ooh, that's a Swiss Army knife. I'll let you do that one. Yeah, that's right. I wanna I wanna say something about the Swiss Army knife. Okay, so right before we got, came on air, I mean literally like. Three minutes before we went live, Kurt had a gnarly sliver in his hand. I think from the table or something. Where'd you get that from? I don't know. Anyways, he had a gnarly sliver in his hand. And he's like, hey man, can you dig this out with a knife for me? And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna dig a sliver out for you. Dig your own slivers out. But I was like, hey man, I got something for you. I pull my pin out from my, sorry, this is my Victorinox Compact. You guys know how much I love it. It comes with a little pin in the back. I've used this to reset routers. I've used it to reset phones. I've used it to dig out slivers, the whole nine yards. And I hand him this, I, I, I set it down here and I said, there you go. He picks it up. And then I'm like, ah, Victorinox is pretty handy. He literally threw it back on the table and then decided to dig it out with his mini bug out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say, you don't have to hate Victorinoxes, Kurt. It's okay. I, you can I love don't them. hate them. You can love them, but they're they're really cute. But <laughs> it's just not for me. <laughs> it's just not. I've for gotten me. more done with this knife than than you have with that bug out, guaranteed. And it's a better kitchen knife too. 
What? Oh, we're gonna have to have you a, take have that a cutoff back. now. <laughs> you take it back. All right, this is this one hasn't been opened, so <clears throat> we're gonna open this. We're gonna open this box live on on camera. So cool. go ahead. What's that? I'll, I'll do this one. Liam Whalen wanted to see oh. <laughs> the Rat Model Two. Yep. Is this? Yeah, you just talked about the. Yeah, R2 we just did. <laughs> I was like, what? Anyway, yeah, guys, this is a sweet knife. D2 steel. You got your four-way reversible pocket clip. You can carry it any way you want. These things are indestructible. Maybe not indestructible, but they are very, very tough. Yeah. And like this one, this black with the satin blade, $38. Yeah, exactly. 38, 38 bucks. 38 bucks. So when we're talking about all of this talk we've had about the Elementum, but if that $50 price range is still a little too much, boom, there you go. Like, Honestly, yeah. I absolutely love R my R2-D2 R2 R2 all D2. day, man. All right, uh, Michael Harper wanted to see the Victorinox Swiss Army. This is not a cadet. I have a cadet paper. Do you have a cadet in there? Uh, hmm. That's not a cadet. Dude, Michael, I'm sorry, buddy. It's live, and we didn't pull a cadet. <laughs> Maybe I have one in my bin already. But we do have a Victorinox Classic here, and this is a great little knife. And it's even got this fun football uh, soccer pattern to it. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I don't know why I said football, because that's soccer to me. Foot football. Foot football. Foot football. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's what we're So anyways, playing. Michael, sorry that we got the wrong knife. But <laughs> the, uh, the cadet is awesome. I see the sheet here is for the... Um, Alox version. So for the uh, the version with metal scales, great version of the Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Ooh, we got a tenacious from Ooh. Knife Nerd. All right. Okay, so yeah, this is not just any tenacious. This is the lightweight tenacious. So uh, this is from Knife Nerd, and uh, he wanted to see the uh, lightweight tenacious. Me and Jamie saw this. Jamie, did we see this? Was this at Shot Show this year when we saw this the first time? Okay, yeah, I think this is the first time we saw it was SHOT Show just happened in January. And when we saw this lightweight, we were like, okay, cool. Like that's that's a knife. Like this is this is a knife that a lot of people are gonna be stoked on. I mean at 49 bucks, you get a nice lightweight knife. It's an 8CR blade, um, four-way reversible pocket clip, and then everything you love about Spider Co. with your spider spidey hole and all of that. Um, nice liner lock. The Tenacious is a huge EDC classic, and then to throw it in the, the lightweight configuration makes a ton of sense. So, um, I also love that you guys get to see us just, you know, opening all the boxes and stuff as well. <laughs> we, why, like I said, we're running. Why a, not? We're running a skeleton crew right now, so like this is just this is just what we get. We're right just now. doing it. <laughs> okay, uh, no name, no name on this one, but somebody out there, and probably a few more of you, wanted to see the Essie Azula. This is the Fire Ant Red version, which I actually really love. Red's one of my favorite colors. And these things are cool. You can get, so it, you can carry it many different ways. You can carry it normal, like it comes with all the clip accessories to put a clip on and you can carry it on your belt. You can carry it on your neck. Mm -hmm. And another cool thing that you can do is we have, I know sometimes we have the Artemis. Yep, the Artemis, Artemis carry. Artemis carry, mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah. think those sheaths. They like a scout carry yeah, sheath. Yeah, it's like a scout mm -hmm. carry sheath. It's actually pretty cool. Also, though, you can get micarta scales to add on to this yeah, thing. Which is which pretty cool. It actually is really cool. I think there's some that you can get that go the full length, and then there's some that stop at the ring, so you still have ring mm -hmm. access. But these things are freaking tough knives. I love that they're coated. It's not, it's not a crazy nice steel. It's 1095, yeah. but because it's coated, yeah. it this thing is... And this is the other thing, when forever. we talk about a good steel for bushcrafting or for outdoor use, 1095 is a great steel. It like, really is. It really, I mean, like with any steel, it depends on heat treat and who's doing it and how they sharpened it and all the things. Um, but SE's proven time and time again, their 1095 is no joke. Um, SE also has an incredible like lifetime warranty. When you go to the trade shows and at their booths, they have like a whole wall of knives that are like, split in half, shot with bullets, like the whole thing, and they <laughs> have replaced all of them. Um, so they have just like a no questions asked guarantee, which is also really cool. Um, so yeah, I've never, I've never owned an Azula though. So let's size comparison to a bug out. <laughs> I love that everything is getting size comparison to a bug out well, today. Well, I feel like a lot of people okay. know. You know, the, the bug out and then just like the 4 Max Scout, like just a normal. <laughs> 
whatever. You know what? <laughs> the Izulu Fire Ant, get one, 50 bucks. 50 bucks, yeah, it's a good knife. <laughs> it's, that's, I've got the uh, the Topps Bull Trout. Oh and, yeah. And that, I love that Topps Bull Trout a lot. And it's kind of in the same vein, but it comes with a micarta scale already. It came with a nice leather sheath. Um, but I think either of those are great little, like bushcrafty, outdoorsy options. Look, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the micarta Oh, hey, there we scales. go. And we, we sell all that stuff Actually, on the website. Really cool. So if you guys are interested in, in, in fitting out your stuff. Uh, like Jamie, it. Isaiah Thompson said, howdy, Jamie. Howdy, Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there's so many comments in here, guys. Honestly, I'm having a hard time keeping up. But we're just stoked that you guys are here hanging out. Um, if you're not, even if you're not watching live, we're stoked that you guys are checking in. Um, I think we've already mentioned, but everything at Blade HQ is 100% still. So doing orders, doing shipping. We're kind of working in shifts. A bunch of us are working remote who can, uh, but we haven't slowed down at all with our shipping or anything, so which is which is really nice right now for us. Um, so thank you guys for showing up. Hopefully this provides a little bit of uh, distraction from some of the stuff that's going on out there. Well, I've got another <laughs> knife I want to talk about. What do you got? These things are new. This is a lion Ooh. steel. Uh, they're, they're the B35. Fixed blade. Didn't you do pictures on these yesterday? I did. Mm. I did some mm. product photography and I did some lifestyle shots of these. And I am telling you right now, this excites me. It really does. I on to be a hundred percent honest and fair. I don't know much about the steel. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Jamie, how do you pronounce it? Which steel? Spielner. Is it is it Schleppner? Schleppner. Yeah, so it's 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 Schleppner steel. So it's a it's a, a common stainless steel used in a lot cool. of European knives. Uh, I, be, I believe Lion Steel actually uses it quite a bit. Cool. Yeah. See, and I just to be hundred percent, I didn't I don't know much about the steel, yeah. but I know. Thank you, fixed blades. thank you, L, for bringing knives. <laughs> I know fixed blades. I know what's comfortable, and I know what I like when it comes to leather sheaths. Yeah. And. Even though I feel like this dog tail is a little bit too long, I really, really love this sheath. Oh my gosh. I saw you pull these yesterday and they have, they so have a micarta good. one, right? They have a, so there's micarta. This is the olive wood variation. Mm, yeah. And then they have a, they have a darker wood and- Like a rose wood or something like that. And a black cool. G10, I think. But these things are sweet. This is like, for me, this is a perfect size fixed blade for carrying it almost every day. Like an EDC fixed yeah, blade. Yeah, like if you wanted to have a go-to fixed blade that fits comfortably, you still get plenty of knife. This is one that I'm probably gonna pick up. I just love it. The leather is really good, it's good stitching. Oh man, it just fits so well. That's something that Line Steel does really good. A lot of the Italian makers actually out of Maniago. So there's a bunch of makers based in Maniago. And those dudes, I don't know if it's like the same place that makes all their sheaths or not, but those dudes make amazing leather sheaths. Amazing leather sheaths. Plus, I don't know what it is, but I love that really light, grainy mm -hmm. olive wood. Yeah, it's so attractive. It's, a, it's a really nice look, man. It's gorgeous. And it's all the uh, the spine and the tang all the way through the handle is, it's a uh, rolled. Yeah, it's rounded, right? It's rounded. Yeah, for so being more it, comfortable in hand. It is super mm. comfortable. That's a hot one, man. I like yeah, that. That's a good one. And that goes for 130 on the nice. website. Yeah. But I'm telling you, these things are cool. Jump on and at least ch check out the other color variations. These are awesome. I mean, definitely different knives, but when you compare that to that $90 Mora, right? Like the $90 right. Mora is more of just like a beefy, like get it done. And yeah. this one's a little bit more of a like, like really good hard use, but EDC more EDC size. Yeah, and, and for what you said it was 130 bucks or something? 130. Yeah, that's yep. pretty sweet. Not but bad. you get this or this, th this is like, I see this as I'm gonna beat the trash out of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go live in the woods for a year. Right, exactly. <laughs> but this is like, I carry a fixed blade and I'm down to do business, Yeah. but I also like the classy I things like being in a, life. a classy gentleman of good taste. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put in my second monocle. <laughs> I always wear two monocles. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I love doing these lies because people get like a look into like, this is us all day. We just we just got a new hire and uh, and she's she started while well, there's not a lot of people around, but people kind of cycling in and out. So as different employees have cycled in and out that she's kind of got to meet, um, like you know Jamie sings all day, 
We make jokes all day. And he's good. Yeah, no, Jamie. No joke. Guys, Jamie has a really good. We're going to have to get Jamie on to sing sometime. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure he's over there just shaking. Yeah, he's, no, he's not, not feeling gonna it. Happen. Not going to happen. He says, guys, I'm not kidding. Guys, let us know. Let us know. If you want to hear Jamie sing, if we can get enough people in on this, I bet we can peer pressure Jamie into it. You know what? It. I want, we should just sneak a story of him singing <laughs> in the background. I'm not even kidding. He guy sings has voice of an angel. The, like, literally the voice of an angel. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, we had uh, we had somebody ask um, Master Woodsman eighty seven. He said, "Do a new multi tools good, bad, ugly comparison. What type five most important tools you want on a multi tool?" That's a great question. Obviously, we're live right now, so like maybe we'll do a knife banner with that in the future. Um, but since we're talking multi tools, this is my Leatherman Surge, and this is my all time favorite multi tool. Look at this. Yeah. Just it's been to work. Yeah, it's poured a little concrete. It's built a couple houses. Oh, is that scout carry? It's yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that's cool. So I carry it's, it. It's either one. Yeah, I that's... carry it. So I carry this actually. I'm gonna get up. <laughs> I carry it like this, so that when I push the knife in, it pushes it back to the belt loop. Nice. Yeah, that's how I like, I like that. Yeah. That's so anyways, cool. and when you're wearing carpenter bags and stuff, it's nice to, for it not to be right hanging down hanging and getting down. in the road and all yeah. that. So anyways, um, for me personally, for a multi-tool, I actually really like it um, to have scissors. I like it to have scissors, which is kind of silly, but like if I'm gonna have something that's more than a knife, I want it to be more than a knife, right? For sure. So I like it to have scissors and I like it to have a bit driver of some kind. Um, so as you guys know, the only complaint that I have about my Victorinox Compact is that it doesn't have a Phillips head screwdriver. Right. Um, but as you guys know, we're doing the new How to Knife series. If you guys haven't seen, we, we did a video on teaching you guys how to do anodization. So with How to Knife, we're probably gonna be modifying some Victorinox compacts pretty soon. Um, I might be able to get on board with that. <laughs> Which would be pretty sweet. And then the other thing that I like, I have to find it here, and this isn't meant to be this way, but just to highlight another tool I think is essential on a multi-tool is uh, something that you can pry with. Because again, if I if I have my knife, I don't want to have to pry with my knife, and so I think that you need to have you have to have something to pry with. So for me, scissors, a bit driver, preferably something that's going to have a Phillips head screwdriver on it, and something to pry with. I Those know. are essentials. Any multi tool. That's why I love the compact. Any multi tool, it has to have. I know there's somebody out there thinking about Kurt prying with the. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt had a super tinker that has a pry a, a pry bar on it. And he decided to pry with the feather thin Victorinox blade. You know what? Hey, I have a Leatherman with me too. Look at Ooh, this. What do you Classic got? leather. Oh, Ooh, you're gorgeous. going, you got, got a lot of leather going yeah, on on this know, side of the table. I like know, it. I like this it. This is called the Micra. And it is scissors. Honestly, this is my favorite thing. I actually, I really like the Swiss Army tweezers. They come in so handy. But. They do. But. The Leatherman Micra tweezers are substantially Ooh, stronger. I was unaware they, of that got, function. They've got some stock to them. A little more stock than what I would say the, the Swiss no. Army yeah. tweezers do. No, for sure. But I was unaware that, that he was even a thing. Yeah, it's cool. Dude, huh? that's pretty cool, actually. I, so legitimately, cool. I, I have that for the tweezers, and I use the scissors a little bit here and there. But. Okay, so let's but let's compare. Micra to compact. Let's compare. All right. So I've got... I've got my main blade, right? Oh, hang on, let me find my main blade. Okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm. I feel like uh, oh. the compact's ahead already. Okay. Main there blade. She is. Main, main blade. blade. Okay, so I got my main blade, right? Yep. I got my pry piece and my driver, right? Because I can. Oh, I'll use that as a driver, but I also use it quite often as a something to pry with, right? Pry piece, driver. <laughs> okay. Look, it I've says, got this. It's a Phillips. Okay, I got my, and this is the thing. A lot of people are like, oh, a lot of those flathead, they're like a 2D Phillips. That's true, but it does, it's not as nearly as effective as an actual Phillips head. Right. I got my scissors. Scissors, spring action. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I've got, uh, let's be honest, the parcel hook's not really worth much, and that's why we're gonna replace it. I've got my small screwdriver for uh, my glasses, and this works really, works really well on my Dremel as well, actually. That could be a small screwdriver. Okay, okay, small screwdriver. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I've got my pin for picking out slivers. Okay, nope, not there. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. I got my uh, tweezers. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I've got my toothpick. 
So do Tanner. I. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got my pen. Fine. <laughs> Fine. But size comparison. Size comparison. Oh. You got a lot, dude, you got a lot more in this though. But I will say this is more keychain friendly. It's super keychain. For sure, I wouldn't want to put a compact on my keychain. Right. It is more I, keychain And friendly. that's the thing is, I don't even put this in my pocket. It just clips on right. my keys and I'm good. Hey, but that was a fun comparison. It was a fun we comparison. We should do that more often. We should do the knife versus knife yeah, yeah. on live. That's, that's actually really cool. What I'm getting that. at is if you're gonna have one pocket tool, just get the Victorinox get a leather, compact. <laughs> I would high five you, but you know. Right. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of knives, oh, though. Bunch yeah. of bunch of suggestions. What do we got here? Our elf. Our elf has brought us things. Ooh, yeah. okay. Ooh, I like that one. All right, I'm gonna jump into this while you look at some of those. All right, so this is the uh, Leo Hume. We see you, Leo Hume. Thanks for making some suggestions. We've got the CRKT Provoke. Uh, this is in the uh, Earth coloring. So this is just uh, that awesome Provoke that they launched last year. They have a couple different um, variations that they've been running. And so they have this one. They also have like a first responder one that has a glass breaker on the end with Veth, Veth, Veth? Why Veth. It, why does that sound weird? Veth? I think Veth. that's right. Veth serrations. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a good little knife. And I always forget how to close it. There we go. So yeah, so to open it, it's just you push on the, the let's make my hand a little more stable. You push on the end right here and then it releases the blade, and I mess it up twice. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Honestly, some of these they come out of the box a little yeah. stiff. You, you do have you to have, you have tune to them a little bit, a little and they bit. have uh, everything on this is tunable, so you can adjust the detent, you can adjust the way it, it, it throws the whole thing. So this is the CRKT Provoke Earth. Goes for one ninety nine ninety nine. Who I've um, got? And Leo, thanks for making the suggestion, buddy. Hope you're out there staying safe. I've got a Clyde for you. Ooh, you know I love me a Clyde. But I want to talk about this one first. Oh yes! This I is actually, the. Oh, I didn't have that one. Good, yeah. I'm this, glad this made is it. the Fox Knives Radius, and this is a kind of a cool little new entry. Let's see. What's the steel? Bowler N690. Okay, we got a wire clip. Um, this is a. I swear this is a. Oh, I thought it was a, a Vox design. Is it? Maybe not. Mm, no, I think this is an in-house Fox design. Oh, okay. I'm okay. pretty sure this is an in-house Fox so design. So you got your cool green G10, your cool orange accent mm -hmm. backspacer. But this is cool, guys. This is how you deploy the knife. It's a plunge right here. Mm -hmm. You plunge it and roll it around the radius of the circle. Hence the name. Hence science. <laughs> now, can I see it for five seconds? Yes, please. Now, this is very important because a lot of you guys have had questions on this when we've showed this before. It is locking. It locks. So that's the cool thing. It's is, a plunger lock. It's this, it's this really easy way to open the knife, but it does lock. Anyways, yeah. I just wanted to show that off no, before yeah. we got too far because I know no. a lot of people have been wondering on that. Right, and, and it, it does take a, l a little bit to get used to rolling your thumb mm -hmm. around. Yeah. But I feel like... It's so cool. You can, you can get used to it and you can run it pretty it's fast. It's really cool. It's a cool knife. These are new. This goes for like 165. Yeah. And, and they, there's a black variation. Yeah, and they have fancy versions too. You can buy like cool. fancy like Damascus and titanium versions and stuff as well. And yeah. who who was this from? That was John Ronan. John Jan Ronan. Mm. John. I, lo I like that last name, Ronan. Ronan. I like that last name. That's a good last name. The only thing I blah, blah, blah. Boy. Oh, <laughs> from uh, uh, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, Gar I was thinking like Samurai, like oh, okay. a Samurai See, without a master. That's way cool. But no, no, I like the Guardian of the Galaxy reference. <laughs> I actually just recently rewatched that. Dude, it's such a good, good movie. movie. Such way a good movie. funny, so funny. All right, so we have ourselves a uh, Giant Mouse Clyde. You guys know uh, Giant Mouse is awesome. We love Giant Mouse. So it's got uh, my car to hand, this particular one has my car to handles. I love the orange pops on the yep. accents. There's been a couple companies that have been doing some really fun stuff with some color pops. A lot of CRKT's 2020 stuff has color pops on it that I'm like digging. Yeah. I'm usually a pretty like subdued guy carrying right. knives, um, but these little accents I really like. Um, and then this comes with an L Max blade. Says a guy who's carrying a Max 4 sometimes. <laughs> the 4 Max Scout. 4 Max Scout, <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing though. <clears throat> no pops of color on this bad boy. Yeah. We'll just do a just we'll just do a size comparison cuz you know this is a pretty standard size knife. There's our <laughs> just... <laughs> But yeah, the uh, the Giant Mouse Clyde is a really good one. I have a G10 one. 
because we didn't have Micarta ones and I really wanted to get one. So I have a G10 one, not a Micarta one. I do have Micarta Biblio, which is awesome. And uh, yeah. For any of you guys that are wondering about the wire clips, I actually really like them. Yeah, we- They're super lightweight, they're deep. Yeah. And, and you'd think that, oh, it's like two little wires is gonna lose its springer tension. It really does not. It's great. We had a video recently, it might've been the Lucas Burnley one, where we were talking wire clips. I can't remember. Anyways, we had a, a, a knife banner recently where we asked you guys, we were like, hey, what do you guys think about wire clips? Most of the comments that I saw were like, uh, I like the wire clip, but I didn't think I would like it. Right. Like people think, I think that like the visual, they're looking at it like, ah, oh, it's not strong yeah. enough. But most people, when they finally get a wire clip, they're like, oh wow, no, I'm like, actually yeah, I this. think, yeah. I think visually my, my first initial thought is I don't know how well that's going to stand up as I push it in and out of my mm -hmm. pocket and handle it a lot, but they are actually really sweet. Yeah. I've never had a problem. Another thing that I'm really loving that I'm like becoming very picky on is Companies that have good micarta. Yeah, not they, all, not all micarta is equal. Not all micarta is equal. Yep. The, the uh, giant mouse micarta is spot on. Some some of the um, I guess less paid attention to detail mm -hmm. micartas. They they have a little bit of more of a fray on the side. It just to me it feels like it's a little bit loose. Mm -hmm. My personal concern would be how long can I, how long will it take for me to actually like get that micarta worn in for sure. or is it going to continue to fray? For sure. And the Clyde is awesome. It's yeah. got good micarta. It's a good one. Talking good micarta. Uh, so we pulled a couple new knives that we were excited about. Uh, just, we didn't know if we'd need more knives or less knives or right. whatever. So we want to be prepared. And uh, we have, <clears throat> I want to see what it's going for. So we have the, um, the Elko. And this is actually the Elko I've been waiting on. So this is the James brand Elko. So nice. In micarta with a, a black coated blade. Um, I really like this knife. Our graphic designer, Sean, this is the only knife he carries. <laughs> it's a perfect graphic designer knife. Uh, but this is the only knife Sean carries. It's the only knife, I think it's the only knife he's ever bought. No, he didn't even buy it. You know what? We gifted it to him, didn't people, we? People need to know Sean's yeah. real name. Yeah. His real name is Szechuan Sean. It is, it is. And we call him or, Szechuan. Or he has a call. If you ever need Szechuan, it's like, wow, 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 <laughs> Szechuan Sean. So sometimes if we're like, need some graphic design work and he has his headphones on, we'll just go wah, wah, wah. And then Sean answers to that as we well. We might need a Szechuan sauce knife t-shirt. That would be pretty awesome. Just saying. <laughs> but anyways, well. this, uh, this Micarta James Brand Elko is really sweet. I've been waiting for us to get the Micarta one. I'm probably gonna pick one of these up pretty soon. Um, just draw on a keychain or whatever. That is some good Micarta. It is, really good like, Micarta. So that's what I say. Good Micarta. Talking about good Micarta, right. that James Brand Elko is knocking it out of the park. Yep. And on that Clyde, it was actually like a ton of you guys wanted to see that. So I don't have a specific username, but if you guys were asking for the Clyde, you know who you are. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Cool. So challenge accepted, want to see the Gerber strong arm, if I can get it to come out of its sheath. This is what happens when you do it live. Sometimes you just, stuff gets stuck. Hmm. Oh, I'm just an idiot, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, you guys all know the strong arm. So uh, challenge accepted, here it is right here. Uh, we'll do our standard Formax and bug out size comparison. <laughs> Dude, the Formax is bigger. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. <laughs> but the strong arm is, uh, you know, made by Gerber, made in the United States. Uh, this knife is hugely popper, <clears throat> popular tactical knife, survival knife. Um, yeah, this thing, you just, you beat it up and it just asks for more. I, I really actually yeah. like the strong arm It's a, a classic. Lot. It's a classic that for is sure. A, that's a beefy knife. Yeah, so Gerber strong arm, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. And the cool thing about it, the knife goes for like 70 bucks. Like right. made in the USA, super beefy fixed blade, tried, true, proven. Cause you can get knives, you know, for 30, 40 bucks. But like, if you don't know who's making them or how well they're gonna do, sometimes it's like a, it's a bit of a, a roll yeah. of the dice. Yeah, like, you roll the dice. Yeah, you sure. know, but with the strong arm, you know, you're getting quality. Okay, this one is the Hogue Decca. Oof. Um, this is Daniel Nunes. Sorry if I slaughtered your last name. I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. <laughs> But Daniel, you wanted to see the Hogue Decca. This thing's actually pretty cool. It's 20 CV? No, wait. Yeah, pretty yeah, sure all the, all the Deccas are 20 CV. Um, could definitely use a deep carry pocket clip, yeah. in my opinion, <laughs> but you can go front or back. And you got these sweet 
I think they call it the Able Lock. Able yeah. Lock. I think it's called the Able Lock. All I know sure. is it works very similar and just as smooth as other locks. Yeah, exactly. Like and that's the thing is the name Access Lock is owned by Benchmade, but the mechanism has opened up to the world. And so different knife companies are taking their own approach. So right. some of them are doing something very, very close to an Access in the mechanism, not the right. name. Some of them are taking the idea and you know advancing it a little bit. But I will say this, not all of these locks are created equal. Um, so you're seeing them pop up on a lot of knives, but not all of them are good. The Ho Hogue does a good job with the yeah, deck. Yeah, Hogue and does a really good job. The other cool thing with this knife is it's lightweight. Super lightweight. Comes I was 20, actually going to say yeah, that. Yeah, comes in 20 CV. And what does this thing go for? Uh, 150. It goes for 150. So you're getting a lightweight knife, 20 CV, nice working edge, or a nice working size for the blade and the handle. This thing, I mean, if you're not, if you're not into the bug out, that thing could be one that you would be into. It's a little bit, a little less flex than you get right. with the bug out. Great knife. It's not quite ham shark approved. Right. But it's ham it's approved. It's ham approved. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, thanks, Daniel. That was a good one. Hogue Decca. Yeah, that is a good one. Um, oh, we got some more. Let me see. I want to jump into, there is a knife I'm really excited about that I want to jump into really quick. OK, guys, I'm going to say it right now. This is the knife for Benchmade in 2020, period. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> So this is the Benchmade Mediator. And yes, you saw that correctly. It is an auto. That's an auto. It is an auto. So you get, you know, you get really nice textured G10. It's like the perfect type of texture G10. Right. It's not going to eat your pocket. It's not going to slip in your hand. Um, obviously, you get an auto. It does have a lock on it if you want to utilize that. Uh, Two-way reversible with the, the mini deep carry pocket clip. Love it. S90V blade. Like, look at the lines on this thing. Like. S90. I am crushing on this knife. This is this is hands down my favorite knife from Benchmade so far in 2020. I feel like it is very much what the CLA was and what the Osborne Power was. Yeah. And they had a baby yeah. and they called it the Meteor. No, it's or, or like a Osborne and a Casbah had a baby even, right? Like yeah. CLA, Casbah, like this is such a cool knife. We have a few on the website. I haven't bought one yet because we only got like 15 or 20 in. And when we get that few of knives, we don't usually we don't buy them because we want to give you guys a chance to buy them. Uh, but we had this one kicking around for uh, testing and sampling and stuff. So it's not mine yet, but it will be soon. Um, but yeah, 2020 Benchmade Mediator. I, I actually really like this blade shape. You get a lot of thick stock towards yeah. the front of the blade, um, just like it in, it in might the have Osborne. A yeah, it has, it, it has a bit of a, and I guess it's not a full distal taper, but, taper, but yeah, you, your stock thins out a little bit here, but then it thickens up on the tip right. where you want to have a little extra. Yep. So anyways. That thing is cool. Sweet knife from Benchmade. I have been crushing. This thing's literally just been sitting on my desk and I've just been firing it over and over again. Yep. Like it's just so satisfying. So anyways. Yes, that, that's a good one from yeah, Benchmade. Yeah, this is the knife from Benchmade for 2020. <laughs> In my humble opinion. In your humble opinion. <laughs> I've got the kite fin. Do you want to talk about the oh, kite fin? Oh, dude, I didn't know we had any of these. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so yeah, this is the Wee Knife kite fin. Um, it's got an S35 VN blade, uh, titanium bead blast, titanium, titanium bead, bead blast, titanium construction. <laughs> uh, Two-way reversible pocket clip. This comes with a deep carry clip which is uh, a little unique Ooh. for some Wii knives. It's obviously, or not obviously, but it's it's a titanium frame lock with the uh, stainless steel insert. And dude, the lines on this thing, and this is something that we say about Wii and Civivi pretty often. And the Civivi knives, I've noticed the Civivi knife line mellowing out a little bit as far as like the designs being a little crazy. And I'm noticing that as well with the Wii knives where the designs are getting a little more practical, a little more EDC friendly. Um, so yeah. Really digging this knife. Um, nice color accents here. Jamie's been crushing on this knife a lot. Isn't that right, Jamie? This is the one? Yeah, Jamie's over there with the, the austere head shake. Um, but yeah, Jamie's been crushing on this one a lot as well. Just a good size. Oh, dude, it is gorgeous. Yeah. I love the like black stone wash that it's not chalkboard. It mm -hmm. doesn't feel like nope. chalkboard like some other flat, right. like uh, what is it, stone wash scales yeah yeah or like certain titanium scales or whatever yeah, right yeah. But, but it's also not slippery but the bronze accents flip mm -hmm. that over oh my gosh yeah if you don't love that yeah shame on you yeah so anyways the wee kite fin if you guys aren't paying attention to wee 
you need to be paying it. We've been telling you guys for a year now. We've been telling you guys for a year now that we is making some of the best knives out there and it's not hype. It is it, the truth. It is. It is the 100% truth. 100% the truth. So yeah, so we Kite Fin, beautiful knife. And I love what they do with their finishes. I love what they do with their accent colors. And like I said, more and more, they're putting out these knives that are, they've always made a beautiful knife, but not always my knife, right? right. But more and more, they're putting out these knives where I'm like, oh, I'd buy that Wii, I'd buy that Wii, I'd buy that Wii, like, yeah. And the Kite they're Fin. They're killing it. The Kite Fin's one of them, really, really cool. So that, anyways, that is gorgeous. Uh, kind of gushed on it a little bit, but I've been excited. I haven't had one yet. I haven't held one. This is my first time holding one. Uh, so this was Pi, uh, Paul R. He was trying to decide between the Kite Fin and the ZT0450 carbon fiber. Ah, man, here's, uh, so Paul, these are, they're very different knives. I don't have, do we, do no. we have a ZT? We don't have a ZT to, to compare them to right now, but the 0450 carbon fiber, I see what you're saying. Um, they're both kind of skinny. They're both kind of a longer knife. Um, but I think that they're very different knives. Um, I think that that uh, 0450 is definitely going to be thinner in hand. Um, For sure. And I think it's, you're going to get a little bit more blade. Um, I think you get a little longer, but a little thinner yeah. blade. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say, is you get a little right. bit of a thinner blade. Now, the, the other difference, too, is this kite fin you guys can see here, it's really slicey. Um, and the ZT is not as slicey. Um, so... I think they're very, very different knives. And I can see the similarities. I can see why if you're looking at them on a picture on, online, why you would think one or the other. So this is what I would say, is if you're you know, working on the farm, working in the trades, um, hard, really hard use, go with the ZT. Every time, that ZT is gonna be a good option. If you're looking for a really good, usable EDC knife that can take a beating, I would go with the Wii, my, my opinion. And right. the price, and the price on the Wii right now, uh, so 153 bucks on this kite fin, that's a really good price for the materials and everything you're getting. The ZT0450 is on sale right now. I can't remember where it's at, but it's, I actually think it's on sale for 150. So they're like same price. Yeah, man. they're close to the same so, yeah, price. So, so Paul, that would be my two cents. You anything to add to that? You know what? I, I actually do. I prefer personally, I prefer a knife with a little more belly. Mm -hmm. And to me, if it has a little more belly and a little more length throughout the blade, it you get that extra slicey dicey, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And for me also, having a little thicker stock on the scales fits my hand personally of course. better. I, I bought a ZT0450 two years ago when I first hired on. And I actually gave it to my brother because it just, it wasn't, it is, it wasn't perfect for me. It's a little thin yep. and it's a little blocky yeah. compared to this. It is a which, little thinner. I, I'm totally nitpicking like yeah. the tiniest details, but for me, I would take the kite fin over the ZT0450. Yeah. And, and for me, it would really depend on like, what am I doing? What, what pants am I wearing? Am I wearing my... Am I wearing my Duluth pants and my being a carpenter, or am I just wearing my Levi's and 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 doing my right. day to day? You know, um, that would be what would make the difference. So, anyways, Paul, hopefully that's helpful. Yeah. Long discussion on that. Both <laughs> both knives are super really good, good options, and I can see visually how those those are similar. So, uh, yeah, I always stoked to handle the kite fin. I haven't handled it yet. <laughs> okay, I've got an S thirty V Benchmade Hidden Canyon Hunter. This is actually a really cool knife. I have been keeping my eye on this knife for probably five years now. I was gonna say, Kurt's been like, this, I swear this knife ends up on his computer at least once a month, and he's looking at it like, mm, should I buy it, Dude, should I not buy it? It's, like, got, it's got all the right things. Let me tell you what I think. Personally, my personal opinion, what they have got right. You've got the diamond wood, you get that beautiful look, but it's still rigid, tough. You, I mean, it'll take any punishment. I actually like the ridge on the back. The uh, what are we gonna call that? Just the, the huge jimping. The razorback. The, the razorback jimping. It, <laughs> I, honestly, I like it because especially in a small fixed blade, you want to be able to have a good purchase on it, especially in use, just for the fact that it's small. And if you slip up, you know, it's it's not. It's not the Mora that fills your hand completely, you know. It's it's a smaller knife, and so if you have a little more texture, something to grab on, which they 100% knock it out of the park mm -hmm. with the jimping here and the forward jimping. Because with that big belly, you could oh, yeah. use it for some skinning work if you oh, needed to, right? absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's got a nice belly. You can really choke up. Even, even when I choke up, this little uh, uh, cutout right here in the scale, that's where I put my thumb and it's actually very comfortable. I wish I could, hang on, let me see if I can do it with my left. I have it set up in my right hand like this and it's actually very comfortable. 
I do wish that this blade was one inch longer and the handle half inch longer. I, if it was just a little bit longer. Yeah, it'd be perfect. I feel like we have this and then from in the Hunt series, Benchmade goes from the Hidden Canyon and then it jumps up to the Hidden Canyon Skinner or the, it's the Skinner. Yeah. It's like a four inch blade. If they had one in between, that's what you'd be looking for. Take my money. Here, let me see that bad boy really quick. Who was who was this that wanted to see this? Uh, Tyler Singh. Tyler Singh. Yeah, so for me, you know, I love that. I've mentioned it already. I love that Topps Bull Trout. Yeah. So for me with a medium-sized hand, perfect. Yeah. This is perfect. Like all day- It's very I, similar I, yeah, to the Bull Trout. It is very similar to the Bull Trout in a lot of ways. All day, every day, I'd carry this thing. And to be honest, out the box, because I had a, I, I, uh, I made a sheath for the bull trout, because the sheath that comes with it is really nice. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't like carrying horizontal. I just right. don't like with a fixed blade. I carry scout everything. Um, this comes scout ready, and it's a nice sheath. Yeah, and it's a nice sheath. So, so it's yeah. a soft, it's a soft leather with a little more, yeah, it's of more like of a suede, suede mm -hmm. yeah. feel to it. But man, that's good stuff. Cool. So Tyler, that goes for one thirty on the site, man. All right. So guys, we're bumping up on an hour, uh, which is totally fine with us. Let me know in the live chat. If you guys want us to keep going a little bit, we've got a few knives on the table. We can keep going. We can just do two more knives and wrap it up. Uh, but honestly, this is for you guys. Like, And also this is for us. <laughs> so we're just trying to create a fun space for us to just we're like- We're just chilling. Chill, chill for a while, you know what I mean? And if you're not watching this live, uh, that's that's the intention. So hopefully you guys are having a good time too. If you get down in the comments, if you're watching this not live, uh, we are gonna be in the comments as well, responding and engaging there. So if you guys tell us some fun knife stories or whatever, we will be reading through every single comment on this video. And if it makes sense, we'll respond. So be in the comments as well if you're not watching live. How about a Burnley tuna? Ooh, I do love me a good Burnley tuna. I'm seeing a lot of keep goings. Somebody said nothing better to do. <laughs> Nice. We feel you, and that's that's why we wanted to do this instead of just putting up our normal knife banner, which was a fun one. Right. We had we had uh, Karsten from Boker, the CEO of Boker, came and he told us some awesome stories about some different knives, including uh, the majestic mermaid. Um, but we thought this would would be would be better. Speaking of, so here's my majestic mermaid. <laughs> don't don't touch it. I can't believe you're touching that without white gloves. You know it's in quarantine. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Keep it safe, dude. Keep it safe. Keep it secret, keep it safe. All right, so we have the CRKT Burnley Tuna from K. David Shell. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, so, um, you know, it's a $45 knife from CRKT, so you're gonna get eight CR blade um, G10 front with these awesome pops of color. Again, like I said, 2020 CRKT, not only do they have a lot of incredible designs, but they also are throwing in some pops of color. They're just amazing. Um, so anyway, so yeah, some fun pops of color there with the G10 front, and then you get a deep carry pocket clip, and then you get a frame lock. Yeah. So at, at uh, what did I say, it was 45 bucks? 45 bucks and you're getting a frame lock? Like, pretty cool knife. And this is something I like CRKT does is, the tuna was a custom design from Burnley, and uh, you know I mentioned Karsten came from Boker. Boker right. does this really well as well. But CRKT does a great job at uh, bringing custom designs like down to the level that like we can afford yeah. them. Yeah, everybody, right. everybody like, can afford them. Like I love knives, and I've I've been tempted by two like over five hundred dollar knives. Seriously tempted. It was the Benchmade Gold Class, and not because I love the Benchmade or sorry the Bug Out. The Benchmade Bug Out. It's just synonymous at this point. The Benchmade Bug Out Gold Class, and it's not because I love the Bug Out so much, I just had to have the fancy version. Just that version was so pretty. Yeah, that's And cool. then, do you remember those magic uh, whiskers? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Protec just came out with some custom hand engraved, you know, the whole Protec Gorgeous. treatment. Gorgeous Magic knives. whiskers, oh my gosh. Like white, white glove knives. You yeah, get in the white glove. But this gloves. is the thing is, I would carry it. Oh, like, dude, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So, beautiful. anyway, sorry, sidetrack. I'm not one to buy custom knives is what I'm getting at, but I am one to buy a $45 Burnley tuna because this thing's awesome. I'll tell you right now, Lucas Burnley is one of the better knife designers for my taste mm -hmm. in knives. Yeah, yeah. And I think with the tuna, it literally, he knocked it out of the park. Yeah. You got a slimmer handle, you got tons of blade. Um, I mean, it's, it's heavy, it's fast, it's, got tons of cutting power. It literally is like if you were to catch a tuna and then turn it into a knife. Right, there it know, is. There there it is. <laughs> and honestly, I, I, Lucas is a stud. He and me and him are homies, but 
the tuna is great, even if it wasn't a Burnley knife. Yep. That CRKT tuna is solid. I yeah. really like it. And if you guys want more info on that, check it out. We just did a knife banner with Burnley. Um, you guys can check out his thoughts on the tuna and how well CRKT did or didn't do with transferring his, his custom design over. I love how well he explains what he puts into Dude, his designs and I, why. I love talking to Lucas Burnley. He's if you cool, guys watch man. that knife banner, that's cool. that was literally just like if you were talking to Lucas Burnley. I love talking about him because he thinks so much about design oh, and he yeah. thinks so much about like, okay, like he, he puts things in these like interesting brackets, right? So he has a term post-tactical. And if honestly coming out of almost any, even me saying it, it feels pretentious. Almost anybody else, you're just like, bro, you're just making stuff up. Like you're just trying to be some art person or whatever. But you hear Lucas say it and you're like, I believe you. Oh, <laughs> you know dude, what I mean? No, like, no joke. He's, he's just a sincere guy. He's the know? real deal. He's for just a sure. sincere guy. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the Boker Kansai right here. Tyler Thomas wanted to check this beast out. You know what? Carson. Our new, uh, our new video guy. Should we bring Carson on and have him tell a story? Yes. Let's, we're, let's actually guys, we're gonna do that. bring our new video guy on. We're gonna have him tell a story and we're gonna shame him just a little bit. Um, <laughs> So yeah, why don't we bring on Carson? So he's behind B cam on this side of the studio. So Kurt and him I'm are gonna, gonna switch, switch places so we don't have too many people kind of in one area at any given time. Carson, how's it going? Good. <laughs> Good, man. So you've been on camera. I'm ready to be shamed. You've been on camera Once. one time for yeah. a second, right? Yeah. One time for yeah, a yeah, second. Yeah. So, so Carson's brand new. He's helping out with some video stuff. Um, and we brought him on and we asked you guys, what knife should Carson get? And uh, there were some good suggestions. I think we might do a video about that, update the people kind of on where you're at with that. Yeah, yeah. But you, you like in your first week at HQ or two yeah. weeks, you yeah, yeah, bought yeah. yourself a Boker Kansai. You have it in your pocket right yep. now, is it? Okay, yep. that's what he's carrying today. So what is it about this knife that you like? Because to give the people a little bit of a background, I think it's safe to say you're not like a dyed in the wool knife guy. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, you yeah. carried uh -huh. knives, you've done stuff with knives, but yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Um, yeah, so yeah, when we had Karsten yeah. from Boker come over, um, you know, we, we, he, we were talking about this knife and, um, man, I don't know. I just love it. I love, so this is the brass one. We have like a Micarta one that just came out too. Yeah. Micarta. And, um, but I don't know. I just saw it and then I opened it and it just flips open like so nice. So anyway, I, I was playing with it and I love, I love this like little tail when it hangs out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just think it looks so cool. And the brass is just super cool. The backspacer. Um, yeah, yeah, I just love it. No, I, I think it's so cool. This is something that I love is, and I think we can all remember some of these experiences we had with some of our first favorite knives or, you know, first knives in general. This is that experience of like, you're just like, dude, it just flies open. It looks yeah. good. Like yeah. I want that thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it's sweet. Yeah. Cool. No, that's awesome, man. So now to shame you just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a tradition at Blade HQ. If, you, if you've if you been here for a little while in the marketing department, um, we'll get you a knife. So we have a secret discussion behind your back and then we figure out what knife would be best for the new guy and then we get them that knife. Um, however, <laughs> recently Carson was out uh, shooting some stuff with an, with an Osborne 940 mm -hmm. and uh, they were throwing it into a tree and uh, the knife uh, bounced back. It was just kind of a freak thing. It like bounced twice, kind of. Just yeah, a weird yeah. one-off situation. Where did it land? Uh, right into my foot. <laughs> into the top, <laughs> into the top of his foot. And it literally went through my shoe, poked <laughs> me in the foot, like right below my, you know, second toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, did you, uh, I can't remember. You'd have to get stitches though, right? No. No, no stitches. No stitches. There was yeah. a there was a good amount of blood. So yeah. You, yeah, there was a there good was amount good, of blood. It, it felt like I stepped in a puddle, so. <laughs> I stepped down and I was like, uh, yeah, we probably should go. Cause we were just, we just kept filming. It poked me and, yeah. and uh, Logan from the warehouse, he's like, are you okay? Did it get you? And I was like, oh no, I think it's okay. Well, let's keep going. And like, literally I have it recorded. So like me, we can yeah, maybe we'll, we'll put that in the knife banner sometime. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it pokes me and I'm like, and then I stepped down and it felt like I stepped in a puddle and I was yeah. like, oh. Oh no. Well, <laughs> let, let, let's go. Let's go call Zach. <laughs> maybe, you've been here, what, maybe a week? Maybe. Yeah, like yeah. two weeks or maybe, something maybe. like that. Yeah. <laughs> So for the knife that we got, Logan, this is why we're shaming him because he should have had it with him today so we could show you guys. But we gave him that we gave him that 940 and we uh, laser engraved Yeet on it for him. Yeah. So it's the now it's the Yeet knife. The Yeet, the Yeet or cannon, the Yeet yeah. Cannon. Yeah, yeah. We, we jokingly will call it the Yeet Cannon sometimes too. Yeah. So yeah. anyways, yeah. Thanks for thanks for sharing the stories. Yeah. Thanks for sharing Sweet. your poker with us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> thanks, dude. All right. So I'm gonna jump into the next one uh, while Carson and uh, Kurt change up positions. Let's see. Oh, we got a bunch of Fs in chat, but I don't know what they're from. Sorry, I missed it, guys. F? <laughs> <laughs> what 
Oh man, they're still they're okay. going hard on that. Yeah, they're going hard. I don't know. I don't know what they're asking for. Um, so, anyways, uh, who is this? Uh, I guess a bunch of you guys. So this is a bunch of people. A bunch of people wanted to have the Spidey Chef show the Spidey Chef off. So the Spidey Chef is a really fun, unique knife from uh, Spider Co. It has an LC 200N blade, which is basically like a no rust blade. It's similar to the H1 that they use. Um, so when they say Spidey Chef, they do mean you could use this in the kitchen. Uh, full titanium construction. Again, we're looking at that wire clip with uh, the titanium lock bar. And uh, yeah, just kind of a, a sweet design. It's it's built to have this uh, this line, this angle here in the handle so that, yeah, like when you're using the knife, like you can get that cutting surface down where you're using it. So you really can use it as a chef's knife if you wanted to. I think that Kurt uh, equated it to a whale at yeah, one point. Looks kind of like a whale, like a blue whale. I don't I don't know my whales, but maybe like a blue, what's a beluga? No, not a beluga. I don't what think does a beluga. that even look like? I think it's a, uh, uh, what did I say it's earlier? The it's the kind that whale? has like the whale. big, like under chin, yeah, but that's it, a blue it's like whale, ribbed it? like Thanos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, Not a beluga. What? Jamie says not a beluga. Jamie okay, knows what these kind things. of whale. <laughs> I think it's a blue whale. Humpback or a blue whale. Ooh, humpback. It could be Maybe a humpback, a humpback whale. It could be a humpback whale. All anyways, I know, <laughs> this thing is ready to eat all the krill. All, all of the it. krill. All the krill. So, anyways, the 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 Spider Coast Spidey Chef uh, is a really cool knife. I know this is one you guys have been stoked on. Um, we've been like trying to keep it in stock. We actually have a bunch in stock right now. So if you're interested, you could pick one up. Um, but really slicey LC 200 and blade, like I said. Um, and Spyderco is actually releasing a line of proper kitchen knives, which is kind yeah. of exciting. So we're gonna be featuring some of their kitchen knives pretty soon as well. Um, because really guys, kitchen knife is, your, is an EDC knife you can come home to every night. Even if you're just cooking ramen, just open up that ramen package with, <laughs> with your kitchen knife. <laughs> So these ones come. These ones come a little stiff. They need a little bit of a break in. I've noticed. Well, and, on the, and flick. the lock bar covers mm -hmm. like half, half of the, the for circle. The flick. I'm yeah. just really. For me, oh, for me, close. it's not an important feature for a Spiderco knife that I can flick it. But if you guys watched the Spiderco we did with George, I couldn't even Spidey flick on camera. So I, I like the <laughs> uh, the Spidey Chef. I also like the Yojimbo. They're just mm. so unique. Yeah, and this is this is something that Spiderco cool. does so good is building these purpose-built utility knives, right? Like, yeah. that's the thing is I hear a lot of people be like, oh, that Spyderco knife's so ugly. And let's be honest, the Dodo is kind of an ugly knife. Like, it really is kind of an ugly knife. But like, it's, <laughs> Not even kind it's of. just like, but it's built, it's just utility. It is, right? Like, it, it was, really is. It was designed, I think it was, I wanna say it was Eric Glesser, it might've been Sal. It was one of the Glessers, I'm pretty sure, that came up with that design, and it's just utility. It's like, yeah. this is just gonna tear open every box it was ever made in, on the earth, <laughs> you know? Um, so, and that's what you get with a lot of spider coats. It's right. just utility purpose-built knives. So, uh, we've got one more. High low wanted to see the Kershaw Lucha. I don't know if that's... High the, low, that reminds me, there's low? a... I don't know if anybody else, does anybody else watch? You watch Donut Media, right? Yeah. I don't know if anybody bit. else watches Donut Media, but they have a new series called High Low. Uh, it's a car YouTube channel. You guys should check them out. They're super rad. Um, but they're doing a thing where like one guy's building a budget car and then the other guy's building like an expensive car. Okay. And they're like, okay, like budget coilovers versus expensive coilovers. The thing is, is they're not, it's not really budget. Like I've built some like real janky drift cars <laughs> and they're still buying pretty nice parts. <laughs> you guys should check it out. If you guys have been Donut Media, check out Donut Media. Those guys are rad. <laughs> All right, so we got the Kershaw Lucha. And this was High Low that wanted to see it. Bally and Guys, for the price, these ballys are actually really sweet. I'm not a bally guy, I'm not a flipper. Um, I'm a flipper, but I'm not one who flips bally songs. <laughs> um, this is actually pretty cool. I think the weight distribution is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, I Honestly, I can't speak as well as maybe Kyle could. He's our in-house in -house flipper. Yeah. But um, these things are sweet, man. And let's see. Let's see, the weight is 5.9 ounces and what else was I gonna look up? Well, I'm gonna oh, steal that from 120 you. bucks. Yeah, 120 bucks. And you know, it's got this nice channeled construction. Uh, one thing that I noticed is it's fast. Like it's really fast, cause it's on bearings. It's really, really fast. And I, uh, we, we handled this again. This is one of those ones we handled at SHOT Show for the first time. I handled it at SHOT Show and I was like, whoo, as a non-flipper, I was like, dude, that feels really fast. Um, and then I talked to some guys who flip, who got this, and they said they really like how fast it is. They actually like it. It makes just everything more fluid and, and move nicer. So Especially 
for 120 bucks. Yeah, yeah. For 120 bucks, I don't know if you could beat this Bally. I don't know if there's anything in the $120, with a live no. blade, in the $120 range that can beat that that Bally. So, no, I pretty agree. sweet, pretty sweet little deal. Um, all right, cool. Uh, so I have a couple knives that I've been excited about that I wanted to show off. I actually showed off a handful of them already. What else do I got? Oh, this new Civivi knife. And I actually can't even remember the name. It's like brand, brand new. Um, but I saw it in New Arrivals and I grabbed it because I was like, ooh, that looks cool. It's the Asticus. So this is the Asticus from Civivi. Um, you know, hollow ground blade, D, hollow ground D2 blade. You got uh, the G10 scales. And again, just a nice, you know, deep carry pocket clip, just a nice classic Civivi design. Do you have your Elementum? Do you have that Elementum still? Pull that out. Uh, right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you compare the two, I mean, obviously they're different lines, right? But a much bigger knife. Yeah. So if you're one of those ones who's like, ah, like I don't really like these these smaller EDC knives, I want a bigger EDC knife, there you go. Like the, remember the name? Asticus. Yeah, the Asticus is an awesome Civivi knife um, for the size and for the price. Because you can pick that up for 55 bucks. Heck so yeah. D2 blade, full G10 construction. Um, it You know, it's just, just a sweet little knife. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a, a, a liner lock there on that. It kind of has, it's like the Burnley CRKT tuna, mm -hmm. but yeah. stretched out. Kind of stretched out a little stretched bit. Out. Yeah, for sure. It's like, it's like the exact tuna and you just grab like a stretch tool and like MS paint and just pulled it forward. <laughs> MS but, Paint. But like similar lines. We're gonna start lines. editing all of our photos in MS Paint. <laughs> right? Be prepared for awesomeness. Be prepared. Kurt's an expert from what I understand. <laughs> I've been painting with that for, I don't know, I think I was like six. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to point something out with this. We kind of showed off this Micarta um, LRF earlier um, when uh, Carson was on talking about his brass one. But one thing I want to point out with this, if you guys were crushing on the CRKT CEO, the Micarta ones, yeah. this is not that far off. No, like really you've got isn't. the Micarta, you've got the the kind of brass brassed out liners, you've got the, the nice coated blade, super light, super flipper friendly, and uh, with deep carry pocket clip. And it's slim. Yeah, it's a very slim knife. So if you were crushing on those CEOs and you've been wanting to get something similar, the LRF is a good way to go. I've also heard rumors that that CEO might be back soon. So there's that as well. Just want to throw that out there. Just kind of throw that out there somewhere. Just throw it out. <laughs> what else we got? How are the comments? Right. Yeah, comments are good. It's it's hard to do both. You know what I mean? Like this is what happens when you run a little right. more of a skeleton crew. Uh, but we have run well over our hour. People wanted us to run a little bit farther over, do a few more knives. Um, let me see. Is there anything else I think that we that like I just feel in my heart that I want to talk about? You know there is. There's one other one. I think I fe we featured this one before. I feel like this knife doesn't get enough play. So it doesn't. This is the Benchmade Outlast. It dropped last year. You can see that I've used it a little bit. <laughs> but here's the thing, it's not a multi-tool, but when we're talking multi-tools, you know, I was like something to pry with, uh, scissors, you know, a good blade and a driver, right? This doesn't have all of those features, of course, but it's on an access lock. You've got your plain blade here and then you have your serrated pry blade. And Did you guys see that? I love, yeah, see I can spidey he flick some, it. I, can, I can spidey flick sometimes. I love this knife. Um, if I remember right, I believe this is 3V, does it say on the blade? Yep, 3V, and then I'm pretty sure this other one is S35 or S30. S30. Yeah, Jamie's over here rambling him off for me. He remembers that stuff better than I do. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, I usually will buy a knife and I'll be like, oh, cool. Like, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I'm going to buy it. And then after a year, it's like, oh, I can't remember what the blade steel was anymore. Right. <laughs> so anyways, the uh, the Outlast is a great, great knife that I feel like doesn't get enough attention. There were a couple of you guys in the comments I saw asking about the Outlast. So that's why I decided to show it. You've got the glass breaker on the end. Nice deep carry pocket clip. And what then, have you been doing? Oh, yeah. No, I've just been using it as a hammer. <laughs> oh my god yeah no like a knife like this here i'll let's see if you guys can get a good shot of that but a knife like this this is just a hard use i don't care i'm gonna beat this thing up so i literally will just like hammer on stuff with this like gets the job done um it is designed to be kind of a first responder knife yeah so it also has a seat belt cutter in it which for me isn't really one way or the other. Um, I don't I don't ever buy a knife with the consideration of does it have a seatbelt cutter or not, but right. 
if you are a first responder or somebody who needs uh, or wants a seatbelt cutter, this knife does come with a seatbelt cutter. But if we're talking just for like a working knife, mm. like this knife, that thing's a beast. This knife has re rewired two houses. It's reframed three decks. I mean, this knife is. I've put it to work over the last year. It's done a lot of stuff, and uh, it's just it's good. So, anyways, cool. bench made out last. That one I just had to. I just had to give that one a little plug. I think that's all I got though. I think that's all I got on the table that I'm like really, really want to talk about. You got anything else? Are you good? You know what? I actually do want to talk about this. Okay. And I am the worst. It's the GMF, right, Jamie? GMF one. GMF one. <laughs> I love how Jamie's like this dude. Back I, isn't it? Joe, doesn't Joe Rogan have a Jamie? Yeah. And he's like, J Jamie, pull that up. Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> dude, here's the thing. This knife I normally would never be interested in. But this is the second time I've brought no, this yeah, up. No, yeah, yeah, you've crushed on this. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. I am obsessed with this as an EDC fixed blade. He's, guys, he's been carrying this every day. It's, every it's day. ridiculous. Yeah. And here's why, this is why. Right here, this leather sheath is super slim, super slim, super slim blade. And that retention right there, oh my gosh. It doesn't hang far off your belt. It, I have put this little lanyard on so it's easy to grab. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm not kidding. Every, like every this day is he's had this. sick knife. So I carried this. We did a we did an EDC fixed blade video. You guys can check that out if you want some of our suggestions on what to EDC for a fixed blade. I carried this and I didn't like how high it set up on my hip. Really? Just personally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you, it doesn't bother you. Does not bother me. Nice. Honestly, it's it's probably one of the only fixed blades I've thrown on my hip in a vertical carry yeah. that does not bother me, doesn't bug me. So size wise, this thing comes in even shorter than the uh, the Benchmade. I mean, obviously with the lanyard, right. you get that extension on your grip. But so is it the, is it the thinness of it? It is. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's more, not, e not even necessarily the knife. The yeah. knife is great. Yeah, yeah. But the sheath and mm -hmm. how it functions with mm -hmm. that slim blade just the just the right amount of retention in yeah. that leather is it is beautiful no, i agree and I, I love how it carries i know giant mouse worked with somebody in italy on this i know this came out of money the sheath came out of maniago for sure i can't mm -hmm. remember where in maniago but earlier when we were talking about this lion steel like dude these guys oh, yeah. these guys in maniago they know how to make a sheath like they know yeah. how to make a sheath <laughs> oh yeah no yeah. it's probably the same place. It right? probably Even, is. All I know yeah. is, dang. And it's, as I you've been using thing. it, it's getting beautiful, oh, man. Yeah. That leather is just yeah, look at gorgeous. This, the, the wear and tear, yeah. it's shaped to my belt. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Dude, I love this knife and I don't even own it. Nice. <laughs> that one's one from the knife library. It's one we yep. pass around. So yeah, no, it's a good one. All right, um, I think we're gonna wrap it up, guys. Um, we had a, we had a lot of great suggestions. Hopefully you guys have been having a good time. I was checking my phone if there was any final shout outs or anything like that. Um, but uh, thank you guys for joining us and, uh, and and hanging out and talking knives with us, Heck hanging yeah. out, giving us suggestions on what to look at. Hopefully it was, it was fun for you guys as well. Um, as all this stuff kind of unfolds in the world, we're just gonna try to keep bringing you guys just some positive space. That's what we're about. Like we, you know, knives are a great thing in a lot of ways. They're tools, they're fun, they're collections, they're just, you know, whatever. Whatever the thing is, the reason that you like knives. But at the end of the day, it's also, it's just something positive. You know what I mean? Honestly, so. what it really comes down to is we have a very niche community and we're tight. All of us are. Yep. Doesn't matter if it's one brand versus another, like we're all knife guys at the end of the day. And for us to come together and have a space where we can just, relax a little bit and talk about some cool stuff that we're all interested in it kind of settles everything else that's going on in the world yeah and so we say it all the time the knife community is just full of amazing people so thank yeah. you guys all for being awesome we hope you all stay safe stay fed stay whatever the things are that you're doing right now with your life and uh yeah we'll just we'll just keep the train rolling we'll see you guys on the next one